And you know, there are many things to consider when teachers step into the classroom and are charged with helping every single child achieve. As our schools become more diverse, it's important that both students and teachers are aware of racial, cultural, and ethnic differences. The Detroit Journalism Cooperative, along with our One Detroit Bureau, takes a look at one program in Oakland County where teachers are learning to better relate to their multicultural students. Ed Moore has the story. Comes difference, right? With difference, comes conflict. It's 1 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon in West Bloomfield, Michigan. School is in session, but this class isn't for students. This class is for teachers. To me, to say that we have an achievement gap, particularly when we talk about students of color and poverty, as opposed to there being something inherently wrong with the system that educates these students. We are inside a cultural competence training session, which is designed to develop understanding and effective methods for teachers. They become more familiar with identifying and solving unintentional culture clashes within the shifting landscape of the diverse student population. We're becoming aware of things that we either weren't able to see or we're able to ignore in ways that we can't do anymore. The more a teacher is aware of how these issues are brought into the classroom, the more effective the teacher can be in maximizing student learning. In the past decade alone, West Bloomfield's African American population has soared 120 percent. Nationally, the 2014-2015 school year was the first time in America's history that white students in public schools were not the racial majority. The demographic shifts are no longer coming. Diversity is no longer coming. It's here. They know when they walk in that school and or when they walk in certain classrooms in that building, they have to park parts of their culture in the hallway or on the street because it's not welcome in a building. Dr. Jay Marks is an educational consultant of diversity and equity for Oakland County Schools. He trains teachers in the district of the importance of multicultural proficiencies in the ever-evolving school environment. Students of color, African-American students, Hispanic, Latino, and students of poverty are disproportionately placed in special education and remedial courses compared to their white and Asian peers who are disproportionately placed in advanced placement, honors, and college prep courses. Creating best practices for educators to become culturally responsive, benefiting the students as well as the teacher. We just don't know enough about one another. And when we don't know enough about one another, we don't gain understanding. In the dynamics of difference, these are cultural differences that sometimes that could lead to conflict. By many census accounts, the racial demographic of this country will shift by 2040. And those who identify as white racially or ethnically will be the racial minority in this country. This training allows educators, many of whom are traditionally middle-class European-American females, to bring awareness of differing cultures, ethnicities, and diversities into the classroom. Can you teach students who don't look like you, who don't love like you, who don't walk like you, who don't pray like you, who don't live like you, effectively? What we are asking teachers to do is we want to create kids who are ready for a global society. And that's all of our kids, because they're going to have to negotiate a culture that's very different. By exploring the importance of cultural training, these instructors are introduced to new strengths in addressing issues arising from cultural situations. It's an interesting challenge to be a privileged white middle-aged middle class plus guy <laughs> with a diverse group of students. So these workshops help in reinforce how you can apply in the real life situation in the classroom in the real world. The training empowers educators with a hypersensitive perspective of teaching methods and philosophies, leading to increasing conflict resolution and identifying misunderstandings. It reminds me that I need to really look at the holistic aspect of encountering the student as an individual, as a person who has a set of different backgrounds. By focusing on the five skilled areas, awareness and acceptance of differences, knowledge of the student's culture, self-awareness, dynamics of difference, and adaptation of skills, teachers exploring hidden bias and colorblindness, which can lead to disproportionality in the way they instruct individual students. Culture competence leads to more effective teaching because we begin to embrace culture. We begin to acknowledge it. We begin to accept it. We begin to understand it so that we can embed it in our teaching and practices.